she's getting a rash around the ears on the neck, but nothing on the scalp. So Dr. Sandy Scott Nikki looks at images of one of her patients, a woman suffering with an allergic reaction she couldn't identify. Testing revealed a common shampoo was to blame. The problem when you see fragrance or perfume on a label, that's not one ingredient. That's usually 30. And the consumer has no idea what those 30 ingredients are. That's the major concern identified by the Environment Commissioner. The fact that in Canada, companies don't have to reveal their secret recipes that give many cosmetics and other products their distinctive scents. Labels do not disclose what's in perfume, aroma, fragrance, or flavor. Those catch-all terms can conceal a range of potentially hazardous chemicals. This activist says the risks should concern everyone. Health Canada doesn't know what's in fragrances in products, which is really alarming because some of these ingredients can be carcinogenic. One recommendation, that companies be forced to tell all, perhaps by disclosing their fragrance formulas to the government in confidence. Can I, can I ask you about the federal health minister says the report is being taken seriously and new regulations are coming in short order. There are thousands of new cosmetic products that enter the Canadian market every year. They are generally a very low risk category, but what this report emphasizes to us that there is more work to be done. Canadians need to be better better informed. In the meantime, Canadians can't necessarily rely on labels. For, as the report pointed out, in Canada, products can be sold as unscented, for example, when they actually contain extra chemicals to mask the scent of the product, to make it appear more natural when the opposite is actually true. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.